the Butcher Army took Techno to the slaughter. The army gathered around to witness this historic moment. No, 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 I'm playing this one. What? Let's go! Let's go! What? How do you not die? Techno could finally see home. And what? I have something I need to show you. You see this wall? Welcome home, Theseus! Tommy stares speechless through the eyes of hundreds of Wither Skulls. The offer was clear. If Tommy allowed the destruction of Lamanberg, Technoblade would help him reclaim his precious discs. Now Tommy was the one conflicted. All of his friends had betrayed him and his discs meant everything. But was it enough to justify the annihilation of his home? He didn't know. On one hand, he had nothing left there. Friends, power, nothing. But on the other hand, no matter how much he thought Tabo hated him, it was still his home. And whatever happened, something would always draw him back. Following his betrayal of Pugtopia in the previous war, Techno swore to retire from his violent ways and isolate himself from the chaos ensuing on the rest of the server. But even when he vowed to stay peaceful, moved to a location only known by one other man, Lamanberg attempted to murder him. They had ended his life of peace, taken his right to isolation. And so, he swore to destroy every last block of Lamanberg to end their peace forever. Following Techno's escape, the Butcher army was furious. If it wasn't for Dream, Techno would not have been able to make it out alive. If it wasn't for Dream. Dream, he was the reason all of this was happening. Dream was the one who attacked Lamanberg purely over its existence. Dream was the one who gave Wilbur the supplies to blow up everything. Dream was the one who made them exile Tommy. After his death to Technoblade, Quackity was enraged. And as the others questioned him about the confrontation, Quackity led them to a secret room. This room was the same where the plans to execute Techno were born. And now, after realizing their true enemy, they would plan the assassination of Dream. Tabo stated that walking up to Dream and just attacking him would not be practical nor effective. If they wanted to kill Dream, they had to be smart. And Tabo had just the plan in mind. In the history of the server, only one organized execution had been successful. And it just so happened that Tubbo was the one executed. Jay Schlatt was able to successfully draw Tubbo to his own execution by fronting it with a festival. And that is exactly how the Butcher Army planned to take out Dream. Tubbo explained that Lamanberg would hold a festival to celebrate its good graces with the Greater Dream SMP. This festival would be held in Lamanberg, where the rule stated that no armor is allowed to be worn. A rule created long ago. And because Dream believed he was still on great terms with Lamanberg, he would respect the rule and follow it, leaving him vulnerable. And when the time came, Tubbo entrusted Quackity, the one who had informed them all of Dream's involvement, to do the deed. The day after Dream had destroyed Logstitchir, he returned to check on Tommy. But what he found surprised him. Tommy was gone, and atop a small hill next to Logstid rose a large tower of dirt. To the average person, it looked like Tommy was dead, but Dream knew better. Dream suspected that Tommy had faked his death to throw him off, landing instead in the water next to the tower and running away. And so, in the wake of this discovery, the search began. Technoblade, as he was passing by the remains of Logstitchir, noticed Dream investigating the rubble and warned Tommy that Dream knew he was gone. And a few minutes later, on his search to find Tommy, Dream messaged Techno that he was on his way to his house to have a chat. Techno complied, and as he got back to his base, he quickly came up with a plan to hide Tommy. Before the visit, 
Tommy would drink an invisibility potion and hide in a small box against the wall of the cabin. This would allow for complete concealment and a perfect spot to hide from Dream. A few minutes later, Dream arrived and began to talk with Techno. He's currently getting owned by zombies right now. Dream, are you, do you need you need some help there? Do you need some? Well, um, there's a bit of a problem. Yeah, what's the problem? Tommy left. Who? All oh, right, Tommy. Yeah, that guy. He got exiled. That was pretty funny. Yeah, but now he's missing. Lemandrig thinks that he's dead. I, I I know otherwise, but have you seen him? I've not seen him. You sure? I, I'm pretty confident. Uh, he's, Mind he's, if, I, he, if I look around? Ah, uh, you can look around. You can look around. Mmm, minor terrorism in Lemanberg. I I love minor terrorism. It's what I'm all about. Sell foot. What is that about? Don't pry into my personal friend. life. I'm fe I'm feeling very judged right now. All right, very judged. Well, uh, I'm glad to see you alive and well. <laughs> I didn't see Carl out there, but I'm assuming Carl's <coughs> safe and. Oh, healthy. Carl's safe. Carl's safe. I will say, um, you owe me a little bit. But... Yeah, that's true. That's true. Did she dream. You don't. You don't gotta worry. Dream. I am a person that believes in absolute reciprocity. Well, if you catch wind of Tommy, let me know because I've been I've been out looking for him for the last. All right. I'll keep an eye out. All right. Well, nice to see you. See you later. The plan had worked. Techno had managed to convince Dream that he had not yet seen Tommy, and for now, Tommy was safe. But Dream still had his suspicions. He planned to return to the cabin to investigate more thoroughly another day. But for now, he would leave his old friend alone. The next day. Dream returned to Techno's cabin to investigate once again. But this time, Techno wasn't there. Only Tommy and Ghostbird. The worst liar on the entire server. Hey Dream. How's it going, Dream? Do you do you live do you live here now? No, no, no. This is just where I've been for a little while. Technoblade said I could stay here for a little bit. So this is where I've been spending a bit of time. Have you seen Tommy? No. Okay. All right. Well, you're you're around this whole area, right? Have you seen him anywhere around here at all? No. Techno yeah, yeah. told me about um, these the other day, but on this on this list. Yeah, these were written by Tommy. When? I don't know, but he just showed me them earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's I get a cold as a as a ghost sometimes. It's from being out in the snow for so long. You're a very, you're a very scary man sometimes. I understand I'm sorry, that people look scared of you. You're very nice to me, and I really appreciate it. And you're a good friend. Even and even when you told me that the invitations were wrong and to go wandering off into the snow, you know, you you really are always looking out for my best interests, and I really, really appreciate it. Man. Yeah, I was just, I was just trying to, I was just trying to help, you know, help out Tommy. No matter where I go, you always seem to be close behind. You always like to follow us. I do. Us. Yeah, me and Techno and. Techno, what are you doing? Where are you going? Green? What are you looking at? There's the, it's the prime log. I know Tommy was here, Wilbur. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, I'll be around. Bye bye, Dream. Tommy had been discovered. His residence in Techno's cabin was no longer a secret. Dream returned the next day to notify Techno that he knew. After a lengthy conversation, Techno finally conceded, admitting to sheltering Tommy. Dream admitted that he didn't really care about Techno bringing him in, all he cared about was that he knew where Tommy was, and that it wasn't in Lemanberg. The days passed. The Lemanberg Festival was scheduled for January 5th, and preparations began. Lemanberg was decorated once again. Colorful wool brought life to the city. Ironically, the same place where a life would be taken. The Lemanberg government, seeking revenge against their true enemy, was ready to end Dream's reign of fear-inducing power. The sun began to rise. Cold white snow engulfed the frigid ground. Rays of light seeped through the trees as a cool morning breeze danced through the town square. Today was the day. And in these last moments of quiet, before the first people logged on, Lemanberg would have its final peace.
everyone joined, gathering in the square to start the celebration. And as silence befell the crowd, thus echoed the fateful words, Let the festival begin. Everyone had showed up. Everyone except for Dream. Immediately following Tubbo's speech announcing the start of the festival, Tubbo pulled Quackity aside to speak with him about his concerns. What if Dream didn't show up? Why wasn't Dream showing up? Tubbo recalled that Dream had assured him he would come to the festival, and yet he was nowhere to be seen. The plan never left the circle, he couldn't have known. So why? Rambu and Fundy joined the call and the group decided to continue waiting. They had faith that Dream would show up and was just running a bit late. The celebration continued, the minutes came and went, still no sign of Dream. The cabinet members gathered to talk once again, and as they went over their plan one final time, Rambu noticed something. Something that sent shivers down the spine of every last one of them. Dream had arrived. Tommy and Technoblade stood outside the cabin. White flakes of snow covered the ground as the sun rose above the horizon. They were ready. Armor, weapons, potions, they had it all. Today was the Lamanberg Festival. Once again, due to his exile, Tommy was not allowed in Lamanberg, but he wouldn't let that stop him from watching in the shadows. Techno and Tommy traversed the icy winter plain, crossing the ocean and arrived on shore next to Lamanberg. Invisible, both Tommy and Techno snuck past the people, meeting with Rambu, who, following the execution incident, found himself questioning if he was really on the right side. Rambu felt divided. He didn't like choosing sides. And so, he didn't. Instead, he chose people. Rambu explained that everyone would be at the festival, including Dream, and that Dream would finally be respecting the rules of Lamanberg. Tommy was elated when he realized what this meant. If Dream would be following the rules, he wouldn't be wearing armor. And if he wasn't wearing armor, Tommy and Techno had to leave. Dream had just logged on and Tommy could not let a chance to get back his disc slip away. While attempting to meet up with Techno, Tommy saw Dream coming down the stairs to Lamanberg. But he wasn't headed to the festival. Confused, Tommy and Techno watched as Dream began to rebuild the obsidian walls that were taken down after Tommy's exile. It didn't make sense. Had Dream seen him? Had Tubbo done something to anger him? Looking for answers, Tommy and Techno joined their call. Tubbo and his men stood petrified. Dream had promised to respect Lamanberg. Their plans of execution never left the circle. Confused out of their minds, the group joined Dream at the wall. And what he was about to show them would change the server forever. What the hell is this? Wh it's gone! It's all gone. What have literally everything What? Tommy blew up the community house. What? Tommy did this? I don't understand. No, he's, he's not supposed Why? to but no, we were this to close to peace. We were this close. I trusted no, but, but you guys like... for once ever. This is the worst event that has ever happened on the server. This is the oldest building, the most historic building on the entire server, and the only major structure of the greater Dream SMP. We had nothing to do with this. This has dream. nothing you're to not, do you're, with you're, it. Tubbo, listen, you still have his disc. Yeah? What about the- That means you're affiliated, no matter what. That is his most doesn't... prized possession. Listen, if you're not affiliated with Tommy, then give me the dumb disc. No! I... What? No, no. Why are you here? Listen, I, I know you, you probably, I'm not the most reliable person to the government, but Tommy wouldn't lie to me, okay? He said he didn't yes. do it. I don't lie. He wouldn't lie to me. Unless he, he, lied about, he lied about Bernie <laughs> down George's <laughs> house. I mean, yes, the fact that you're here kind lie. of proves his point. Whoa, stop! You actually stop Whoa! Him. You're not gonna give him the disc, you, you? You've literally proven time and time again that you can't be trusted. As soon as we, you know, take down, it, we're, we're fine. We're, we'll be back. I don't think that's an option anymore. You spend all this time, you do all these speeches talking about how I was a bad friend, how I was how I was the one being reckless and going out and doing things and, 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 and being bad, but do you know what you did to me in Exile Tomorrow? No! You don't! I thought you, you died! But you didn't come and see me, and you, and you still don't care I'm here. 
This has your name written all over it. You're literally acting exactly as you acted when you burned down George's house. I don't need to prove myself to you. This wasn't me. Trust me. For once in your life, Turbo, trust me. I did trust you. Once. And I won't make the same mistake twice. <sighs> Turbo, you betrayed me. I didn't what? betray you. You betrayed no. everything you had built. You know what? You got your axe up. Oh God! Oh, we're oh, going God. in. Don't actually, we're going we're in. Not actually, don't. Don't. No, 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 no. You no, betrayed me. No, 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 you failed the nation. You betrayed me. I didn't betray you. You teamed up the very person that destroyed our nation the first time. The discs were worth more than you ever were. The crowd fell silent. Tommy stood afraid. Not of Dream, not of Tubbo, but of himself. Tubbo was his friend. Was his friend. They had done everything together. Laughed together. Fought together. Cried together. They had been through loss, betrayal, destruction. Together. Even when apart, the two missed each other. Longed to be once again. Together. But any chance of that faded with those lingering words. Tommy once again let his emotions take control. And now, there was nothing left for him. His friends, his discs, his tubbo. Nothing. And like he had those months ago, Tommy knew there was only one thing he could do to save what was truly important. Give him the disc. Do you want me Tommy, to give Dream the disc? I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm, I, I... I'm, I'm sorry, tubbo. I'm sorry. Do you want just, just, just no, just give him just, just no. Just give him the disc. <gasps> to Tommy. Uh, Tommy, are you sure about that decision, Tommy? This isn't me. This isn't I mean I look around and I'm I'm not the person I wanna be. I'm i so, I'm so sorry. Tano, if this is what I've become <laughs> Oh, we're surrounded. Then I don't wanna be me anymore, man. I I I'm I'm, I'm with Tubbo. Perhaps I wasn't clear yesterday, Tommy, when I said that I'm going to destroy Lamanberg and that you you don't have to help me. When I said you don't have to help me, Tommy, I meant that you could sit it out, not switch sides and fight against me. I'm not. <laughs> what am I doing? What, what am I? We've, you're betraying me, is what you're doing, you're Tommy. Tenorblade, I'm worse than everyone I didn't want to be. Tenorblade, I know what I've done and I hate me for it. Tubbo. Yeah. Well, thank you for giving me the desk. I just mm -hmm. want to say that you're an idiot. You oh. are an absolute idiot. And you have no power, and you are the worst president that has ever been president of the because you're no president no. at all! No, listen! Listen! You're not what? even president! Quackity is more president than you! I'm more president of Lamanberg than you! You get pushed around by everybody on the server. Yeah, Because tell you are an idiot! You are a fool. You just gave me the one thing that I needed to destroy Lamanberg. I don't care about Lamanberg. I don't care about anything. I've said this before. The only reason I had not destroyed Lamanberg is because you had the disc. I had to be friends with you to get the dumb disc back. I don't care about you. I'm not your friend. I cared about getting the disc back and oh. I got it back. You can't even run your nation right. Rambu is a traitor. One of your most trusted Friends. No, no, that's not no. true. Yeah, okay, it, it no. is true. He was Do meeting with read. Techno and Tommy no. and told them everything. Lamanberg is weaker than it's ever been, and it's because of you. You have destroyed no. everything. You have ruined your friendships. You have ruined Lamanberg's allies. You have you are a horrible president, Tubbo. Techno. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You got any withers? What? Oh, I'm liking oh, where this no, is no, going, Dream. No, 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 no. You can't. No, 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 no. Are you saying what I think you're saying, Dream? Oh, I'm saying what you think I'm saying. You know me so Listen. well, Dream. You know me so well. I've got Listen. a few withers, Dream. We could work something out. Lamanberg is being destroyed. Okay. Tomorrow no, at no, 3 p.m. No. Say no, your goodbyes. No, 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 no. Say your goodbyes. No, no. Tomorrow. Why are we giving them a day? No, 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 okay, listen. I could get tomorrow, the winners in like 30 3 minutes. 3 p.m. We're gonna we're gonna finish Wilbur's job. Okay. We're not we're not even talking about just blowing some TNT. We're gonna do TNT machines, cannons. We're gonna destroy everything. You have one night. Oh. Say I your goodbyes I... forever. It was dream. It was always dream. From the very beginning of their story to the very end. Dream was the one who framed Tommy for all of the griefings after the war. The one who destroyed the invites to Tommy's beach party. 
The one who told Tommy no one missed him and the one who destroyed the community house. The people knew. Differences aside, there was only one priority from then until 3 p.m. the next day. Defend Lemanberg. All across the server, preparations began. Kings, citizens, government officials, punk, titles meant nothing now. The next day, everyone would fight side by side as one as Lamanberg. People mined, brewed, enchanted. If one thing was for certain, it was that Techno and Dream would show up prepared. Hours passed. Night fell and the chests continued to grow. Armor, weapons, supplies. Pride and determination could be felt in every swing of a pickaxe. Anger and vengeance with the slash of a sword. Until the unlikely allies were ready. Chests filled to the brim with netherite armor, potions of every kind. The next day would be it, the final battle. And as the sun peaked over the horizon, the day of reckoning began. Which side are you on? This is the question that plagued many across the server. Nikki and H-Bomb questioned following Tommy to battle after everything that happened concluding that it was finally time to let Lamanberg learn their lesson. But they couldn't support Dream and Techno either. Both sides were bad. Another who followed the same logic was Fundy. He believed that Lamanberg and many of the people in it needed to learn their lesson. And although he would not help cause the destruction, he believed Lamanberg's demise that day was inevitable. Following his decision to stay out of the war, Fundy destroyed the supplies that the Lamanberg army had gathered as a final act of despise. To say Technoblade and Dream were prepared would be an understatement. Techno commanded hundreds of dogs primed to kill every last enemy. Filza, who was broken out of his home by Techno, joined forces to take down Lamanberg alongside the anarchists. Lamanberg had taken something from all of them. Whether it be land, peace, or freedom, the three vowed to have their revenge. An obsidian grid cut through the deep blue sky. Each intersection wired a dispenser filled with nine stacks of TNT. All of the water had been drained from the Mamber to allow maximum destruction. The dispensers were placed on an extremely quick redstone clock to drop multiple explosives a second. During the last war, Techno only had the ability to summon two withers. This time, he could summon over 54. Potions, food, armor, weapons, they had it all. And as Tommy, Tubbo, and a few others logged on and saw their stash destroyed, it was too late. Tommy quickly journeyed to Lamanberg. The war was scheduled to start in 25 minutes and their army needed every second to prepare. But Technoblade had no intentions of playing fair. Was it fair when Lamanberg threatened to murder his horse if he didn't let them execute him? Was it fair when they imprisoned Filza in his own house long after the execution failed? No, it wasn't. So what made anyone think he would play fair today? Tommy realized what was about to happen. Looking around, most of his army had not even logged on, and Techno had no intention of waiting. Taking a deep breath, Tommy prepared for what was about to happen. And as Techno was shot by Tubbo, the dog army attacked, and the war for Lamanberg had officially begun. You messed up, Tubbo! Let loose the dogs of war! Let loose the hounds! Meet me on the bridge. You realize we're just gonna kill all these dogs as soon as you go, Techno. I've already killed three of you guys! Oh yeah, hit me with that axe, puns. Hit me with that axe. Oh yeah, a shield's gonna help you from the wolves. You know what? I'm feeling merciful. If you guys all back off and let me blow up this country, you can live. Oh, 17 minutes. Take your time, Rambo. No need to show up. I'm literally right next to you, Tommy. Look up. The signal! The signal! Okay, I, I, what? Oh, oh no! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, hello, Tommy in it! Get in the caravan! Get in the caravan! Oh, the caravan. That'll save you. 
We go for the withers, all right? We fight one wither at a time. We fight them as a group. Please. Good luck. I'm bringing three more to you guys. Rambo, get out of here, Rambo. The man bug. Turbo, stick with me. Right by your side. Withers rain destruction from above. Technoblade killed everyone in his path. Lamanberg was falling apart. But this was only the beginning. And as Filza and Techno continued the battle from below, Dream prepared the real weapon. The fate of Lamanberg hung once again on one man. Control of the entire server was right at the tips of his fingers. The power. He could feel it. And as he overlooked the pure chaos emerging from below, Dream couldn't help but smile. It was never meant to be. It's all over but the cry and no Nobody's crying but me. Friends all over know I'm trying to forget about how much I care for you. TNT fell from the heavens above. A level of destruction never seen before befell the land. There was no going back. Lamanberg had lost. Tommy stared down Techno through the never-ending rain of explosions. Catching eyes, the two stared. Once allies, friends, had now reached an insurmountable divide. Techno Blade, look at me! Look at me, do not shoot! Do not shoot! You didn't have to do this! You could have caught you me! Gave the me. thing about the discs, Technoblade, is that they were for me! You, we could have had a government! You could have I don't care about the discs, Tommy! I was up front with you from the start! The government has to go! Selfish! You've used me from the start, Tommy! You've never thought of me as a friend, Tommy! You've, th you've just used me from the start! You saw me I just as the know. blade. That's all I was to you, the blade, a weapon. Well, guess what? I'm choosing what I fight for now, and I'm going to destroy the government, Tommy. You all die. You ah! were my I listened to you for weeks. What did you do? Tenerblade, people are above the government. We are I'm a person. If we don't, you are Tenerblade, and so are we. You, the discs, the reason the discs is because they were stolen from me. Nothing is Discs aren't from people. Here, Nothing was taken from you here. You're selfish. You're destroying what oh people my God. for your own You know what I did yesterday when you were surrounded by like 30 people, the whole world was against you? I walked in. I was willing to fight all of them for you, Tommy. I would have been there. That is the difference between us. We spent hours together. Don't speak to me of loyalty. You were my friend and you betrayed us. You never thought of me as a friend. The thing about this government is that it was, it didn't interfere with you. I used to think like that, Tommy. You know what they did to me? You're selfish. They hunted me down, the whole butcher army, and they executed me. I tried being peaceful, Tommy, but the government made it clear. I did. The government made it clear that we could not coexist. You blew up the entire... You spawned with us just like you you've done again. All you did is repeat history, but worse. Actions have consequences. Really Actions do have consequences, Tommy. And these are the consequences. There was no point in fighting anymore. As the dispensers ran dry of TNT and Rogue Withers continued to ravage the remains, the people gave up. Lamanberg had been destroyed for the third time. And this time, it would never be rebuilt again. Wilbur's vision had changed a lot in the past few months of the Dream SMP, but it was always there, a place that brought people together, brought out the good and the bad, memories that would never be forgotten. And as they once again overlooked the remains of their great nation, a sinking feeling began to set in. From the day Wilbur first joined the server, Lamanberg had been everything. A home, a place of freedom, 
Wars were fought, lives were ended, tyrants had ruled, their land defended. Through exiles and conflicts, Lamanberg remained. But that fateful day, everything changed. The people went their separate ways. Tommy, Tubbo, and Quackity met on the Obsidian Grid. Techno continued the destruction, and Ghostbird logged on to see his home completely destroyed. As their final goodbyes to their great nation, the group gathered to sing, one last time, the Lamanberg Anthem. There was, there was a special, a special place, place where men could go emancipate the brutality and tyranny of mm. their rulers. We've got to end this soon. Well, this place is real, unique, and threat. Will but Tommy, Tubbo, Garrett, very big. And a little bit blown up, my Laman Bug. My Laman Bug. My Laman Bug. Freedom and for liberty. Our nation, Our nation sought to build on these victory You remember so under freedom under it crack that you told me you told me you didn't remember the verses. The troubles came and then it went. We built our walls and we watched them break. And from everywhere so from sorry. here up to forever. It's okay. One last time, fellas. Man, man bug. Sing slay the man bug. Sing slay the man bug. Sing slay the man Once again, to Tommy, there were only two things that mattered on the server his friendship with Tubbo, and his discs. Just like the old days, the very first war on the server, Dream had the discs and Tommy wanted, needed, them back. And as he talked with Tubbo atop the obsidian grid in the sky, the two agreed that they would finish it the way it all started. Together. Tommy logs on to the SMP. Dream had messaged him saying it was urgent and he had to start streaming. Confused, Tommy decided he was too interested not to listen and logged on. But when he joined the server, something was off. He turned around to find that his entire house had been destroyed and replaced with netherrack. Heat radiated from the steady flames surrounding a single chest. After extinguishing the raging fire, Tommy approached the chest. The signs read, Come see me Wednesday. You and Tubbo alone. If anyone else shows up, the discs are gone. Forever. Opening the chest, Tommy was surprised to see only one item. A compass, pointing directly to the location Dream planned to place his discs. Tommy knew that this would be the true final battle. Winner gets the discs, loser gets nothing. Or possibly worse. And so, the only thing left to do was wait until the day of the grand finale. The days passed, and Wednesday the 20th had arrived. After preparing, reminiscing, and... Wait, that's me! Guys, that's me! I'm in the Dream SMP! I have an MC Gaming. This video. Here, here! This is my last memory. Evan MCC, I wanted to unpause the Able Sisters and you started talking. Oh sh! I needed that Evan MCC Gaming video open. Evan MC Gaming, you are a pain in the ass, man. Uh, Holy sh! This video is on trending. Oh my, sorry. What video is on trending? Evan MC Gaming, Tubbo. But listen. Evan MC Gaming. Stop! Stop! Anyway, this day would mark the true end of the disc saga. Tommy and Tubbo met in Tommy's house to talk one last time about what was about to go down. They both had but one canon life remaining. 
meaning that if either of them died even once, they would not be coming back. And so, they treated that day as if it was their last on the SMP. Tommy said goodbye to his home. The home built all that time ago, the home they fought from. That home had been through war, through hardship and demise. And now, he said goodbye. Tommy and Tubbo made their way down Prime Path, remembering everything. The bench they had sat on to celebrate their independence, the battle for discs outside Punza's house. Bad boy Halo? As the two requested for Bad to join their call, Tommy noticed he wasn't alone. People from all across the server lined the fateful path. Friends, enemies, all came together to say their goodbyes. Oh, everybody! Oh my god! Oh. Rambu? Rambu! Hey guys. Rambu, when yeah. I was you exiled, the best, it's bad. you were the only one that knew what I was going through. And I am, it has been an honor, even though I've not known you for that yeah. long, to, uh, to, to spend time with you, Rambu. H-Bomb, you're peculiar. Callahan! Yeah, you don't talk. You, you restarted the server when it <laughs> crashed multiple times for us. It's been a Punk, long time. It's been an honor knowing you and spending- You've always been so nice to me, and you actually helped me get like half these gapples. Thank you so much, Punk. You're welcome, Tommy. You're welcome. I'll always be there for you. Half the time, okay? Thank- thank you. Big Q! Tommy! <sighs> Tommy! Big Q, you have been one of my closest friends on this SMP. Of course. If I go down tonight, you will- you will carry on my legacy. Of course, Tommy. It Thank will be you, a pleasure. I know, I know I've wronged you, but I, you know, I want to see you guys succeed. And I think you have the power to do it. Eric, you know what? Between we us, We also buddy, have a lot of fish. You've always been the real king, Eric. Not Thank true. Thank you, Tommy. I'll see you later, my friend. Goodbye, Dream SMP. They were now on their own. For the rest of the journey, every step farther from the rest of the SMP. They crossed plains, forests, oceans, and talked once more about the battle they were about to have. We're gonna fight for the discs tonight, and we're gonna fight well. But we're both- let's not lie to ourselves. We're both on our very, very last life, right? Yeah. Our very last life. And if we were to die tonight, we'd be gone. So please, I know that you keep going, Yeah, we're gonna get a back tonight, we're gonna- Please, think smart. Do We have to do what's right tonight. Because Tubbo, I need someone to get back and tell my story. Because I don't know who's going to live and who's going to die. Tonight is going to be the night where we don't have any other choice but to win. Because if we lose to Bo, then we've lost everything. As they traveled the ocean, they noticed the compass begin to change. Looking to where it pointed, a large mountain came into view. Immediately, they knew this was where Dream had led them. They exited the boat and began their ascent. Block by block, they climbed the mountain the morning sun slowly rising behind them. As they watched the sun climb into the sky, they realized this sunrise could very well be their last. But it wasn't over yet. The two continued to climb until they reached the top. There stood Dream, their true enemies since the beginning, axe in hand, ready for battle. But he didn't attack yet. You left me a note saying that you'd be here and that only us two could come. Why? Well, I mean, it's been you and Tubbo since the beginning, right? You and yeah. Tubbo versus me for the discs, right? What are you doing? What are you... What are you doing? You got I'm something sorry. to say or what? What are you doing? I do. What are you doing? No. Hmm. What's your plan? He knocked you down? I got him! I got him back! You got the dead! I knocked him back! Okay, get the dead! Get the dead! I'm coming up! 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 Okay, I've got a pick! I've got another pick! Okay, hold him up! Hold him off! Tubbo! Tubbo! Okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm grabbing! I'm, him back up. I'm gonna I'm eat the notch! I'm on him! I'm on him right now! I've knocked him back! I'm okay, I'm, him right okay, I'm mining it! I'm mining he's it! Down, it. He's down! Mine it! Mine it! Hold mine him! Hold him down! He's up! I'm giving him back! I'm giving him back! I've got it! 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 I'm coming up! Are there any ender chests? He's swimming up! He's swimming up on water! Don't worry, okay, we've got, we've got tunnel up, pots up. on! We're basically indestructible I'm to him! Up, I'm up, I'm okay, I've knocked him down! I've knocked him down! Again! Okay, have a pearl, have a pearl! You go Tommy. down and get to the disc! Get to the disc! Okay, I've knocked him! He's firing oh, at me! He's, he's firing at me! Shit! Shot this five! Shot this five! Shot this five! Shot this five! Okay, we can probably take him! Ah, ah, the gun! 
clutch! The clutch! Okay, 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 I don't even okay, see I'm going, you, bro. I'm going around this end, I'm going around this end. I see him, he's above, he's above, he's trying to knock me back, Tommy. Tommy, do you have any blaze rods on you? Okay, okay he knocked him okay. down, I knocked him down. Okay, okay here's what we okay, do, we okay. bow it. Do you have a good crossbow? Which I don't have missing. a bow. I've got a shotgun's gun, baby. Oh, wait, okay. He's not doing any damage to me. Okay, okay, can you take him? I think his shield's popped right now, so we can't block with the shield. Okay, okay, Tomo, use a sword, use a knockback sword. Okay, if we can take him out now, then we have a disc. The battle continued. Tommy and Tubbo versus Dream. They traded hits. So far, Dream had not done much damage to either of them, but they had also used a significant amount of potions. Before long, Tommy decided to run. But as he attempted to escape with one of the discs, Dream stopped him to talk. Your armor's gonna break. You're gonna lose. So listen, Tommy, just give me the disc, and I won't kill Tubbo. It's, it's been too long for you not to make this choice. Choose between your disc or Tubbo. Wait, so it, so if I was to run away now, how could you even kill Tubbo? He's fine. He's in full netherite. It's it's uh, the durability is looking a little worse for wear. I'll be honest, Tommy. I have oh, dream. stacks on stacks of pearls. I have speed pots. I can chase them down. I have a trident with Riptide. Yes! Okay, well, I've yes! got, I've got, I've got yes! the disc away. It doesn't change anything. You have Why the disc not? in your inventory. I can just kill Tubbo. It's the same. Tommy, you're powerless, okay? I can kill Tubbo. For the first time, I was trying for 10 seconds and he was pleading in a corner, Tommy. One more hit and I would have been gone. What, really? Make your decision. Tubbo dies, or you give me the disc. 10. 9. 8. Tubbo, what do I do? 7. I don't want you to die. Keep the disc, keep the Six. disc, Tommy. Keep the Why? disc. Why? Why? 5. Not... It'll be worth it, it'll be worth it, it'll be, it'll be worth it. Why well, shouldn't I? We shouldn't... Tommy, keep the disc, I'm fine, I've done enough no, in my no, life, Tomo. I've done enough! I've done enough, it's fine, keep the disc! <laughs> what are you doing? Thank you. Wow, I, I didn't think it would be that easy, but... I, that, that wasn't even the disc. <laughs> Wait. That's just how powerless you are! That's not even the disc, I'm just playing with you! You think I'd actually play the disc in front of you? You did. You, you think did, I didn't you learn did the from the day? last time we did this, where you got the disc? I'm not an idiot. I just want to show you how powerful I am, how powerless you are. I could have just let you walk away, but no, I'm toying with you. That's that's the fun in it. That's the fun in it. You're gonna listen to me. Or you're gonna die, cause I'm not playing around now. Drop the axe a piece, first of all. You're not gonna kill me. I'm not gonna kill you. Okay. Okay. Drop your stuff in the hole. We don't re- Okay. 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 Tommy, drop your stuff in the hole, or I'm gonna kill Tubbo. Should have kept the armor. No. 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 Long. Here, I'll take you. I'll take you to the real disc. Follow me. Stay close. Be careful. They descended down the side of the mountain. Dream had gotten exactly what he wanted. Control. That's all he cared about. From the very beginning, he only wanted to have the discs to stop Tommy from fighting. And now, holding the discs in one hand and Tubbo's life in the other, Dream had full control over Tommy and there was nothing he could do. As they reached the bottom of the mountain, Dream led the two to a large stone wall, and the events that followed would be the most important in the history of the Dream SMP. Follow me. Get on. You've been a headache, okay? You brought war, you brought terrorism, what? you brought bad everything. The one good thing you've done is you brought attachment to the server. Come look. Come see your discs. Your discs are here. I mean, I, there's ender chests you have, there. You could take the disc, disc, you could put it in the ender chest if you wanted to, but it doesn't matter. I'm, you know, I, I wouldn't do it if I were you, because then Tubbo would die. But ever since, you know, attachment was on the server, I, I cut my attachment. I cut everything, because I realized that that's what gave people power over each other. If I can control the things that people are attached to, then I can control the server again. Because this isn't Tommy SMP or Tubbo SMP, it's Dream SMP, right? 
I can turn the server back to what it used to be. I have a spot for everything. You have friend. Friend? Tommy, listen, I, I need you, okay? I need you to continue you bringing me? attachment yeah. to the server. But, I mean, I, I can't kill you. But you gonna... I fuck? constructed a prison. It's inescapable. You can't get out. I'm gonna lock Tommy away forever. I mean, I need him alive, but it doesn't mean that he has to be free. Tubbo's a pawn. He's a follower. I don't need Tubbo at all. I want to give you your chance to say goodbye. It's Tubbo's time to go. Like I said, Tubbo's a pawn. I'm not a pawn. Well, I'm going to I, kill I, him. I, you're not gonna, I'm gonna you're kill not him gonna, gonna you're not gonna. You have to accept it. So you can deny it all you want, but then you lose out. He'll die and you'll regret forever that you didn't say goodbye. Say your goodbyes. I tell you what we do, we make a break for the portal, we can run all the way back to mine, because I have the, you know, the secret portal on the, on the exile base, if we run to that... Uh, we, we will be dead we before we get to the portal. Too much of a distance. It's alright, we had some laughs, it was, it was, it was fun. Well, it lasted, <laughs> just but... accepted it! Don't just accept it now! Don't, we no, we don't just... We, to, but we never accept defeat! All good things must come to an end eventually. No, I just didn't think that I, this would be... To, what this am would I, be what my... Am I, my coming to an end, if you will. What well, am I, I mean, without will... you? Yourself? This is it. This is the end. Please don't <laughs> no. go. Please don't go. No. Tubbo faced death with open arms. Satisfied with everything he'd accomplished, he stood by his best friend's side till the very end. The end. A long time coming yet still seemed to come too soon. Tommy stared his best friend in the eyes one last time he would see the light before being locked away to never see it again. And as the two looked to dream, they faced their fate with pride. But then... I'm sorry, Dream, but you should have paid me more. The people came. One by one, everyone from across the server came through the portal to save Tommy and Tubbo. Dream's own partners, the Badlands, the old Lamambert government, everyone had said goodbye, but was not ready to say farewell. Tommy and Tubbo, filled with excitement and relief they had never felt before, moved behind the army of their netherite-covered friends. Shocked, Dream backed away. Now he was the one with no escape. Now he was the one who had lost control. And as the people witnessed the true evil hung from the walls, Tommy confronted Dream one last time time. Dream? Hey, Dream. I know you're not gonna kill me. You don't have the guts. Put your armor in the hole. Everything. Everything on you. There. Tommy. You gonna kill me? And the shield, please. I don't mind if I do. Tommy, you said I'm not going to kill you, and I know you're not going to kill me, right? Why would I, I mean, not kill you? Because we have so much fun together, right? Dream and Tommy, you know, war and... Dream, you have caused me nothing but pain. And now, now it's your turn. Uh. <gasps> Where is he? Uh. I am going to kill you until you're dead. Tommy. <gasps> this is where it ends. With your own bow. Listen. Okay, stop. I'm going to kill Tommy, you listen, until man. you're dead. Tommy, okay, I'm going to kill you until you're gone. Tommy, stop. No, you know uh, what? Listen, How, no, no, you Tommy, know what? You know what? You have three. You have three. Server. This is my S One left. Three lives. Two gone. Come back down, Dream. Tommy, Tommy. Yeah? He, he's here. Dream! You've punished me enough! Any last words? Tommy, you just killed me twice! Have you got any last words? Tommy, you don't need to kill me. Tommy, we were friends. Tommy, we were friends! Dream. Tommy, okay, wait, stop, 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 stop! Tommy, I can bring people back to life. The acts of pit. J. Schlatt gave me a book. Okay? And it has how to bring people back to life. But only I have the book. He died. He's the only other person that knew. I have the book. That's what he gave. He said, I, if I fought on his side, he'd give it to me. 
Dream, you just lie. You just, there is no Tony, reason. if I die, then death is permanent. You have to let me go. If I die, then Wilbur's dead forever. Wilbur. Me. Look, I'll stop. I'll be out of your hair. You can exile me. I'll be, I'll be away. No, I'll be gone. You'll come from... back. You. But can no, you I wait? Listen to me. I promise you, I won't. If you die, Wilbur, Schlatt, they're dead too. Not just Wilbur and Schlatt. Anybody in the future, then death is permanent. Tommy, you have to Lin let me go. I can't let you there's, go. Anybody... Tommy, what? There's another Sam? way. Hi, Sam. There's another way. What's up? You don't have to let him go free. You just can't kill him. We what can put saying? him in the prison. I built the prison. I have access did you, did you to really? the prison. I don't know anything about. He paid me to build no, the listen, prison. I, and... Yeah, but I know, I know, I know about the prison. I know how it works. Like, you're not, you can't contain me in the prison. You should know enough to know that it's impossible to get out once you're in. It's impossible to leave that prison once you're locked away. Let's put him in the prison. It sounds weirdly, weirdly too perfect. I'll be so honest. That's... Yeah. Let's make Wilbur proud. Tommy and Tubbo had won. No, everyone had won. Dream and his manipulative ways would be taken to an inescapable prison he had ordered the construction of. The server was free at last. Over the next few weeks, the people lived in peace. Tubbo would go on to create a new nation by the name of Snowchester in a nearby forest. Tommy was finally able to lay low and started working on a hotel. Technoblade and Filza created an anarchist commune titled The Syndicate. And Dream was locked away. For good. But before all of this would happen, Tommy and Tubbo met on the bench outside Tommy's house to celebrate the fall of Dream. This is... This is surreal! I never thought we'd... This really we is! Have the discs! Dream's gonna get locked up. We won. I like it. It's... Yeah, that's crazy. And you're not dead. What? I'm, I'm frankly impressed. I'm Ghost very bear? impressed with you, Tommy. No, I'm not Ghost Bear. Hello, have you missed me? You know, it, from day one, you wouldn't have been able to get it past me that you'd be able to successfully, peacefully stop Dream, you know? Where's Ghost Bear? Where's Ghost Bear? I don't know. I just wanted to say I was I was very ready to see you here soon. It felt like your presence was slowly entering the afterlife, but here we are, and you're you're still alive. You you never seem to die, do you? I thought you were dead. I'm proud of you, Tommy. I'm proud of you. See you soon, Loba. See you soon.
Before you leave, I think it's important to give a huge thanks to the people who help make these videos what they are. Thanks to my sister Kaya and my friends for helping a lot with acting and many other adjustments throughout the video. Also, if you did enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.